So how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Honestly, I had a pretty good walk this morning, which is silly, but it feels a lot better to get some exercise, you know, especially on a yeah. colder day in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's mm -hmm. important to keep the uh, energy levels up when it's not sunny. So, yeah, I feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. How about yourself? Have you gotten any exercise today? Uh, not, I don't think I have. Well, there we I go. I don't think I have. I usually take a dog for walks, uh, and I haven't done that. So I need to, uh, maybe I should just stop now and go take the dog. Walk the dog? Yeah, we can nah. like take this on the road. We'll take it on the road. Ooh. Right? Yeah, it'd be one of those walk and talk kind I'm of meeting things. Meeting my, my pucker lips. Can you can you show the camera you... what a pucker lip is? Do you, do you have one left? Because I was curious. They look like lips. Oh, I do. I have one left. <laughs> they do, in fact, look just like lips. All right. There we go. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, I've never seen these before. My, my five-year-old just came in to the office just before we started. And said she was just in her undies, no shirt, nothing else. <laughs> of course. <laughs> said, want some pucker lips? I said, what? Oh, Apocalypse what? Now? What? Apocalypse Now? Hey, Dad, want to watch this awesome movie that I just saw? That was, there was a, my, my family used to be really into the game charades. Right. And every time we'd have a visitor, we'd play that game. Um, it was as long before I could really play but one of the one of the best games or one of the best clues was something that my sister got and it was you know the the clue the the answer was apocalypse now and she did puck her lips wow i wouldn't have thought of that honestly on the spot that's pretty mm. i was surprised you did no. just now so yes it makes sense that this is based on mm. a story from the past it's still in my head yeah that's a pretty still good one i like it i like it mm -hmm. puck mm -hmm. her lips now mm -hmm. Yeah. I am terrible at charades, personally. It's just not, oh, yeah. yeah, it's just not one of those things. I, I, mm. I don't know. I can't seem to mime. Maybe miming is my issue. <laughs> mm. Not, not my thing. Oh. Yeah. Um, hey, you came up with some good ideas for today. I did. So one of them's kind of like, it's maybe it's a couple of weeks old at this point in time, a week and a half, but there was a court case about Google, which we briefly discussed last week. But the, the wrinkle now, and, and maybe again, it's, it's that I watched a Fireship video on this or something, but I'm, the, the <laughs> repercussions are a little bit more than I thought, specifically when we're thinking about the browser and we're thinking about how Google may or may not have an unfair advantage in the, the search portion of the browser. So like the address bar where you type in stuff and you search, and that default mm -hmm. engine that's chosen it is you know, it goes to a certain place, and this place happens to be Google. Right. For a lot of these browsers, you can pick, like, uh, there's mm -hmm. probably Bing in there, which is, you know, it's all right, mm -hmm. or DuckDuckGo or what have you. I, I, don't, I don't know if there's any other options, honestly, in terms of search at this point in time. But I, I did want to ask you about that, because I know there's some mm -hmm. AI-based search. But in terms of the browser itself, mm -hmm. I think what the community had forgotten about is that Firefox largely has one supporter that pays them to send search to Google, and that is, of course, Alphabet. And the question, I think, in the community is, if Alphabet is no longer able to pay for this unfair advantage, and the number one financial contributor to Firefox, Mozilla, is Alphabet, what, like, what, what do we do in this void? What does it mean for Firefox? Does it mean we start thinking about like Safari or... Right. Edge or what? Like, what? What? What does this mean for the the, the quote unquote browser wars? And I think. The, yeah. So. Yeah. Go ahead. The the solution for getting rid of the monopoly right. is that it gets rid of the 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 solution to the solving this monopoly problem is getting rid of the competition. Thank you for understanding which, this. Yeah, it sounds illogical yeah. when you break it down, right? So, mm -hmm. like, the solution to. Mm -hmm. Google having a monop monopoly on the ad browser side. Monopoly. Yeah, monopoly. Oligopoly, I think is what's stuck in my head, is, is to get rid of their competition in the browser space because of search. And it, it just feels like right. it, it's, it's the right thing to do. Totally get it. Mm -hmm. However, sometimes the way it plays out is not great. So I don't know what we need to do is to start some sort of... But is it the right thing to do? Home. Yeah. Hey, listen, not, not my circus. I mean, I... <laughs> it's a U.S. court I case. I feel right? like... Like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it. It kind of, I mean, I, I monopoly implies that there's only one player right. in the, which is totally not true. Right. So there's at least two. I think Bing is is probably this, an okay search engine. If I, I yeah. think we can boil it down to that. Like honestly, these days I mean, maybe even better than Google, unfortunately. 
I don't know. I mean, Google's pretty great. Well, DuckDuckGo <laughs> is certainly not the best. I've, it's I've, awful. I've been using it for almost three years. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's good for like 5% of what you're looking for. Unfortunately, right. the, the nut, yeah. it's because I'm always looking for weird stuff. Mm -hmm. Because I'm looking for weird stuff. It just doesn't have it. It's just yeah. not there. And, and it's not that Google is any better at some of this stuff. Like, it's decided to no right. longer respect my quotes when I, like, legit want these exact words in this order. And, mm, and yes. there's just no way to do that in Google anymore. Yeah. But if I go over to DuckDuckGo and try it, it's not going to find anything either. And if I try it on yeah. Bing, it, it's also not going to respect them sometimes. It'll yeah. find me random stuff other times. It's, it's not great. And it yeah. really the answer is that... <laughs> I've been using Reddit plus search term, which is also terrible. Mm -hmm. But if if Reddit is the search engine, then that's cool. But I think the other thing is that Reddit's now charging people for access to programmatic access to their data, which is right. also fair. I, I get that. Apparently, sure. it's, it's quite expensive. Yep. But again, if it's valuable, cost goes yep. up. But what I want is the info. And I hate to say I'd rather go to a generative AI platform to do it, but in some cases, it is honestly the better answer. In terms of me right. going from browser to browser to browser, if what I want to do is, is find out something as opposed to find right. something. Sorry for the Canadian accent so, there. I've had my coffee. It, it came out a bit. Find out. Find out. So something. I think what you actually, I mean, you, you, are, you are bouncing around between different search engines yes. looking for the answer. This is the workflow. And so there's, there is a solution to your problem. Is there a multi-search search? Like a, there is. Like, what was it before? A tripod or something like so, that that hits like threes? Uh, was that what it was forever ago? So there's also searching spelled S E A R X N G. Searching. O O N G. X N G. Like new, next generation. X N G. Ah, and apparently it is searching. It's, it is sort of searching because the mm. X is Chi, which is often spelled C H I, which is searching. <laughs> Although, should it be Sir King? I don't know. <laughs> what is it called? But yeah, Kai? I mean, that, the X in whatever, uh, what is it, Latin or no, Greek alphabet is uh, Chi. C-H-I? C-H-I? T-I-L. Except, I mean, it's it's a it's a weird connection that you have to, yeah, it's, it's a little silly. I'd never heard of this. Like I, LaTeX. Yeah. LaTeX. So I will say for, yeah. for those in the chat who, who understand Kai, so it's uh, it's like Sears, but instead of the S, you put a Kai there. <laughs> yes. Or Sir, 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 yeah, Sear XNG. <laughs> and then the, the website is S E A R X dot space. And then there's 79 online instances. I'm, I'm saying that, like, I literally just found this out. This is pretty cool. Yeah. I, I mean, there are online hosted search and searching sites yeah but you can also install it run it as a docker container so matt, then you, you know Rugby, if you first result <laughs> so if you run it locally and then you're also using like let's encrypt or something to give it https then um then you know i could i have well i keep meaning to have i haven't don't have but i keep meaning to have it's just search as a local right. uh, uh like service ip you know service yeah I just go to search, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that is my search engine. And that will go do the search on Google and all of these, whatever other engines you want. And you can configure that. But each request to Google and to all these other things look like a different client. Have you seen the stats? I'm nerding out a little bit here. It's got stats. No, Hold I up. haven't. I Hold didn't up. know about stats. Hold up. There's stats. Sorry for the crowd. I, I legit love metrics. But yeah, they will talk about all of the things that they search. Result count, response okay. time, reliability. This is nice. This is really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. I, okay, so I've at least got something to talk about next time I need a Docker container. So, so then you can also add another piece of software on there yep. called Perplexica. Perplexica is that like perplexity? Like perplexity, that's, but self-hosted. That's self kind of where I was going, honestly. Is is like yeah. I figured perplexity. And so it's a lot of the basic, yeah. a lot of the same benefits of perplexity, but it's all local. It's all on your oh. machine. Except for the actual search part, but it is using search and searching to generate the results, and then it's doing its AI stuff using you potentially using Olama it does mention to Olama. do that. Now it's written in TypeScript. Is this a good thing or a bad thing these days? I think it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm about to say something. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I didn't realize that, but yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I just pulled up the GitHub repo. This is I mean, pretty it sweet. Makes sense because it's really good. Yeah.
Uh, so it's Windows, Mac, Linux. Fantastic. Yeah. And it can deploy on repo I, I even have a video about it. Oh, oh, okay. All right. From it's, I probably need to update it because it's at least two or three months old. Now, do you know about Repo Cloud? Have you heard of this? This is where they suggest hosting it for, for funsies. I don't know about that. Open source app cloud marketplace. Deploy and scale your favorite open source applications cloud? with one click hmm? for half the price of major cloud costs. Okay. Uh, yeah, it sounds like Repo's S, right? <laughs> Re yeah, it doesn't sound good. Cloud. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it, it sounds like we're buying spot instances from people who couldn't afford them or something like that. So the banks have taken them over and they're reselling them to the public. So you can host them. So open it's source. half a cent an hour. That's pretty good. $3 a month for the base. Like yeah. base base. That's cheaper than That's pretty amazing. Vulture. Vulture is it's like I mentioned last week, what I used Now you're not stuff. gonna do Perplexica on there because it doesn't have a GPU. It says you can host it. You can host Olama? Perplexica. Or Perplexica? Yeah. I don't see anything that says Oh, I guess if you're connecting to using like OpenAI instead of Llama. Yeah. So because I think yeah, Perplexica yeah, yeah. will support you, you those online. Right. Which I mean that's kind of the point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you could host Olama elsewhere and have the API be yeah. addressable yeah. by this and use a Jot or something. To... Feels janky. <laughs> I mean, we're here for the jank. It's got uh, <laughs> 12,000 stars as well, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the repo that you talked about, Perplexica. It seems pretty cool. Yeah. I, I'm not sold on repo cloud. I, Sorry. I, cheap is good. No, but, I mean, yeah. I, I keep thinking, cheap actually, not instances. repossessed, but I'm thinking repo man. Right. Which is about being repossessed, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. It, Was that what? Maybe. Wasn't it like Martin Sheen? No, Charlie Sheen or one of those yeah, yeah, folks? Yeah. I don't know. We suck at actor names. We are terrible. No, I, I've never seen this movie. This is one of those ones that I have to watch, actually. I'll put this right I on I think the list. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been going through a lot of the, the cringy movies that I haven't watched, or, or I had been going through the cringy movies I hadn't watched that I, I thought were cringe when I was I, younger. I said Martin Sheen, but it was his son, Emilio Estevez. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, uh, Harry Dean and Stanton. Harry which, Dean Stanton. Which yep. I've never heard of before. Sorry. Uh, you haven't heard of Harry Dean Stanton? Was I thinking of Repo Men? Was, is is that a movie? Uh, Repo Men. Repo Men. Harry Dean Stanton was in uh, Godfather Part Something, Alien, a bunch of other things. Oh, I think I lost. Repo there. Man. I don't know about Repo Men, but Repo Man is a kind of a classic movie. Yeah, Repo Men from 2010 is exactly what I was thinking about. Somebody misses a payment on their heart, oh. and then these guys come in and take it from them. <laughs> 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 so, so maybe I thought it was a remake and watched it, and then just in my brain I replaced it. So, so Repo Men plural yeah. it is uh, not at all related to Repo Men singular, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, it, it, it could be wrong, but it was it was great. Uh, yeah, that is so. Is that there's a comment about audio? Mine is is mine still a little high? Uh, yeah, and Ma alternate. Brian's still a little it low. Is. So sorry, folks. There might be a little bit of a hiss when I turn this up. But there we go. There's going to be some background audio noise. Yeah. Um, still sound okay. I know yes, it's a bit hissy uh, now. It sounds fine to me. I'm in my in my okay. one earbud. Matt's is pretty good. Ryan sucks. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's not exact his exact <laughs> phrase, but <laughs> Matt's is pretty I good. I kind of read between the lines. Yeah, Ryan's is a bit low. That's fair. Ra Matt is awesome. <laughs> Ryan sucks. That's what how I read it. As is usual. Hopefully, this makes it a little bit better. Sorry, folks. We're we're still trying yeah. to figure things out. I, for some reason, I, I don't know if it's a fan above me or something causing a hiss. But mm. I need to get. It. It, this is one of those things that I've been looking for for a while. Is like a sixty watt light that's not massive that doesn't make a, a lot of noise because that's all I do is bounce a light off the wall. And, uh, yeah, ah. I, I could get a spot so back I, there and point at the wall and reflect at me, but that, that's a lot of work. I love my lights. Yeah. Lights. The, I have two lights. They're the, um, Elgato key, key lights. Key light airs. Yeah. Yeah. Not air, but I just, oh, just the, I mean, cause they didn't exist. I just have, to, when I bought them, that's all they had was the key light. Probably a good thing. Um, and, uh, and then I have these two softbox or a, a softbox on each. That's actually from. I don't know, newer, newer, <laughs> ne whatever. It's newer, yeah. The one newer with two E's yeah. or three E's. Just to mess you up, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it works great. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, other than having a fan, the, the light is fine. But yeah, the fan is, is quite yeah. annoying. Okay, so I think yeah. we fixed the audio, but Neil, let us know in the comments if not. Uh, I'm not done in the browser thing. So I, I do wonder 
Now, now here, just just hear me out for a moment, because again, this is U.S. politics, and I shouldn't be commenting on it. But is there any way your government can decide to like take some of the PBS funding and just shove that into Mozilla for me? Because that would be awesome, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that browser is a public service. Well, depending on who wins. Fair enough. I I haven't been watching either. <laughs> I mean, there's 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 one person. Do you have an open source advocate? Who would like to remove all who would like to remove all funding for anything good? Okay, don't for, don't for, vote for that person. I don't I don't care about the party. Yeah. What we need is yeah. Firefox to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> start a new party uh we can't call it the red party i think that might be a bad idea but let's start a party <laughs> in mozilla colors that like it, yeah. it is all about yeah. saving this browser because I, I do worry about this so so people understand that there's firefox i, I think most people right. get that what they don't understand is like all these other was it sea cucumber like all these other versions right. of firefox that exist in the open source community that don't have that google search engine stuff but that very much rely right. on that engine and a lot of the updates and security fixes and bug patches and all uh, that stuff i'm sure with the surplus that wikipedia raises they could fund firefox for years for decades do, do they raise a surplus oh god yeah speaking of things that they have been mined they, by LLMs, they do a they do a fundraising every year, but they don't need it. Oh, I didn't. I know seem that. to remember, I, like, I like as of like a few years is ago. Is this why you don't give them money? I, no, I mean, I, I remember <laughs> some. Uh, I mean, they they continue to do it just in maybe just in case, or if there's lawsuits, or I don't, I don't know why, but uh, but yeah, I mean, they have. They're they're set between Wikipedia, Reddit, and the Internet Archive, and maybe like Stack Overflow. Like that that is a yeah. lot of content, honestly. Yeah. And I don't know if Wikipedia is charging users prices for their API access or if mm -hmm. the Internet Archive is, but like yeah. maybe maybe we should start having more than a what is it called? Like a gentleman's agreement. More than that between these API partners that are scraping data from each yeah. other. It, it just feels like I, I understand what yeah. you're getting. And somehow let's let's benefit Mozilla. So maybe they need to be tied to Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. That that would be awesome. But I, I do feel like Do you actually use Firefox? I do. <laughs> I do. Really? So what Firefox was, I, I only really knew yeah. of one other person that and it was like the the big Firefox fanboy that used to work at Datadog and is no longer at Datadog and no, that's no, Dan. We, we still have a Firefox fan person uh, because they also okay. used to work at Mozilla. Yeah, so Andrew in on the security side definitely oh, okay. is a, a yeah. massive fan of, of Firefox. I just always remember Dan pushing like, Dan Mayer, Firefox, course, Firefox, yeah. Firefox, 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 Firefox. Uh, I still use it, but it's my secondary browser maybe my tertiary browser i, I generally have different yeah. browsers for different things which is silly but i yeah. use safari for some things just because i'm in the ios ecosystem i use chrome for most things and yeah. I, i'll use firefox as the i don't know the security browser the one where you can actually get proper ad block working that kind of thing if i'm mm. maybe searching pdf plus download for like random books or something like that right. firefox is definitely that browser where i feel like i can lock mm. it down a little bit Right. That kind of thing isn't like isn't Tor based on Firefox? Not to go too on, on too much of a hmm. tangent. I, don't I think know. it is. Like there, there are there are other browsers hmm. based on Firefox. I guess is, yeah. is what I was worried about in, yeah. in this thing as well. There, there are some based on WebKit, and and a lot of those have had weird vulnerabilities on PlayStation right. and stuff like that. But right. Yeah, yeah. There's Brave browser as well. Now is Brave uh, not Chrome? I thought Brave was Chrome. I have to look it up. Uh, what's it called? V8 engine. Yes, it's based on Chromium. Sorry, I, I, I misspoke. Based on Chromium, the open source uh, Chrome, which has a whole host of other issues. But the, the question here for me right. is, like, when's the last time you've used Opera? Because that, that, to me, used to be that, that other browser. Because I think Edge has kind of replaced yeah. Opera for me. Hey, the only other, I mean, the, the only browser I've used for, like, a year and a half, two years, has been Arc. Right. Um. And the only other one that I can remember, I, I seem to remember using Brave for a while. And there's also... What, how do you spell man? M-I-N. Sorry, Oof. just there. <laughs> M-I-N um, browser? M-I-N, yeah. And it's just basically a browser with no, like, Chrome around the edges. Ooh, minimal. Mi min like minimal. Minimal, minimal yeah. I like it. Um, Not like a Chinese name or anything. Yeah, with an H at the end? Yeah. Yeah, no. So just min is minimal, yeah. And um, I can't think of anything else that I have used recently. Um, min looks pretty cool. Is it? Yeah. I think it's Chrome. Oh, it's Electron. I, I mean, that's that's a whole other... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So Electron is bundled Chromium, is it not? Yeah. Electron, because Electron's a browser as well. Right. No, it's its own oh. thing. Oh. Huh. Yep. It's its own thing. I mean, Electron's okay. generally not fast, but I, I suppose if it's removed, yeah. a lot of the Chrome and stuff like that is probably not too bad. Right. I think, like, Slack is an Electron app, is it not famous? Yeah. Or yeah. was at one point. And then uh, VS Code is also. Yep. Hey, why, why don't we just browse the internet in VS Code? Aren't we there yet? No, I think we are. <laughs> I think you could do that. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be some way. Just never leave your editor, right? Isn't this the promise of Emacs? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I had to get an Emacs joke in there somewhere. I did last week, too. And then, then there... Um... Is Firefox, there was like a, some email client. I thought it was Firefox related, like Thunderbird or something like that. Is that also Thunderbolt, part of... Thunderbird is mail and... Hmm. Do people actually use those? I, I've certainly hmm. used Thunderbird as a way to recover mail. So there's there's ways of yeah. running Thunderbird and importing things from Outlook or whatever. Is, it's a pretty easy way to like do some IMAP surgery, that, that kind of thing. Yeah. For those of you joining a little bit late. So basically we're discussing like, hey, if... Google can no longer receive or give money, sorry, give money as alphabet to the Mozilla Foundation in order to make sure that the search engine used is theirs. What happens to the Mozilla Foundation? And and I'm worried basically that we could lose a browser or lose browser funding or it could get worse, that, that kind of thing. So happy to hear about any other browsers you got in the chat. Um, would, would accept links recommendations. Now you can spell this L-A-N-K-S or L-Y-N-X or links too if you want to. <laughs> but any, anything text-based as well, I'm, I'm happy to hear about. If, if, uh, do you think that Google would pull that money or would they just, if they can't force them to use Google, then they'll continue to give them the money anyway because pulling the money might look really bad it sounds like they may no longer be able to give the money to them basically but i mean if because it allows them they to give, give the money advantage. could they give the money without any oh ooh, requirements? i see what you're saying like give the money yeah 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 hmm. rather than buy that, I mean, a place that's that's a good like yeah keeping your competition alive so that you don't look like a monopoly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, like, the, listen, the real issue here is that they give a lot of money to Apple in order to make sure that it's the default search mm -hmm. engine in Safari uh, on iOS, mm -hmm. be it uh, iPad or iPhone or what have you. Right. Yeah, I, I think that's the main thing. I just don't think Apple's going to cancel uh, Safari development if that happens. I, I can't see that happening. Yeah. But I I mean, for, again, for a monopoly, right. a, a monopoly in my head means they're the only choice. And they're not the I mean, it's... For me, this makes as much sense as the Microsoft monopoly, and that made no sense to me at all because they were never a monopoly for a desktop operating system. No, we, we should, at the time yeah, we should be careful. Or for, no, it was for the browser. <laughs> was it the browser that they yeah, were? I believe it was and Internet Explorer. IE was yeah. not. Right. And it was not the only choice. There were plenty of choices. Opera was definitely still around, yes. Um, so, and, and because I was at, was I at Microsoft? I think I was I at Microsoft at yeah. the time, yeah. and and it just made it was it was it was a I could I am assuming that the same case was made, but you pluck out you know you you a conversation is had between people, and rather than bring in that whole conversation into the case, you pluck out the one little piece that makes it look really bad, right? So that you don't have the context of all the rest of the messages. Right. Um, and uh, are they not and, being sued for the exact same thing again, specific to OneDrive, Teams, and some other thing that's automatically installed? Things that I don't. I mean, I I think we've actually started using Teams purely because we have the we have the subscription to it, and um, I mean, it's like, uh, oh, like I, as a family, well you mean? It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have the 365 business something mm -hmm. for because because I'm alumni, except alumni, I get it for like 10 bucks a quarter or 10 bucks a year or something like you're that. Just, you're saving so much money. You should start a whole uh, business pff. using Microsoft yeah. products. <laughs> yeah, well, you get uh, uh, um, Sorry, don't do not do this. Folks. Reselling, <laughs> I think reselling that access to that that would definitely be a breach of the terms of service. That is totally fair. So I, no. I think that yeah, there's a certain amount of goodwill in, in, in being like a there's, former um, employee. There, there's a uh, there was as an employee, there was like a, um, 
there was a skew you could get internally that was 99 numbers or 99 products or something like that. It was nine. I think the first two numbers were nine, nine. And that was, uh, when you ordered those products, they were obviously for internal use or for giveaways or for, gotcha. you know, marketing stuff. And, uh, and there was a guy who found this for maybe forgot to read the fine print, the, which is pretty obvious. Right. I mean, like they make, it's not very fine. It's very big right. that says, do not sell this. Do not try to do, sell this for pro your right. own personal profit. But they are for, you know, you go to a conference and you want to give away a hundred copies of front page or, uh, Definitely want windows 95. Page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then you can, you can order these products and there was. There was nothing stopping me from ordering like a thousand copies of Windows 95 right. with the full license. I mean, like they are full copies, but, uh, this, this one guy, um, was selling them. He would order and nobody's checking. Right. He would order all this stuff. He'd sell it on eBay, I think. Oh. And then that was stupid enough. But then he went to one level further of stupid and um, would post photos on his blog or whatever it was at the time of the Lamborghini he <laughs> purchased, of the um, of the various other cars, the super fancy house. Uh -huh. um, he knew, apparently he knew the police were coming for him to arrest him. And so he drank... Um, like coolant or or radiator fluid or, okay. or you know it's to kill himself dark. and did, yeah. did was it successful he killed himself okay he, he, yeah i think what a terrible story uh, yeah yeah <laughs> but so uh. and then and then at that point 99 whatever the the numbers were they went away and any pro, you know you can go to the microsoft company store and basically all the xbox games are like five bucks right but when you get that there's a big sticker that's on there with your uh, employee ID number oh, written on it. Oh. So that you cannot <laughs> sell these as, I mean, you can, uh, any, I can, I can give access to like 10 friends a year, gotcha. $100 or $200 uh, gift certificate that, that you can use to, to buy Xbox games, but they're all going to have, I think they're all going to have my ID number. So don't sell them. Gotcha. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah. It it feels like back in the day, it was something about Office and Windows. I, mm -hmm. I, I can't remember if it was bundling or that, but there was definitely something more about like the operating system monopoly. Mm. And yeah. and then there was oh, was it Linaro or Lin I think it was Lindos. You, you remember like mm -hmm. Microsoft was like, hey, well we'll do some Linux stuff, and that never really right. went anywhere either. But I mean, maybe we'll see renewed interest in an open source browser. That would be phenomenal. I, honestly, I'd, I'd love to see. Right. Like the Olama browser, if, if that's something that we have to go right. to, which which basically is that's kind of what I was hoping yeah. you would say, and I'm, yeah. I'm happy there is one because I am honestly super interested in search, like uh, the, with the X. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Arc Arc has some sort of AI stuff built into right. it now, where it will summarize the page you're on, and you can ask questions. You know, if you do a like Command F to do a search for stuff on the page, if it doesn't find the answer, it will automatically switch to doing an AI question That's where it cool. indexes the whole page and you can ask a question i like that now yeah. listen I, I think i downloaded arc on the podcast at one point in time but i still haven't started it looks like i had to create an account i think is where i get stuff last yeah. time so i did open it this time so mm. we've gotten mm. one step further yeah <laughs> i think the thing is that old habits die hard and that people will sure. still use the browser that they've got and probably still expect right. that to be a google search whether or not that remains the same right. going forward is going to be it remains to be seen, I guess, unfortunately. Uh, the only other thing I had here is that there is a little bit of uh, rumor mill around this new iPhone that's going to be thinner. So it's like three separate rumors. So it's probably pointing to something new, but it looks like they're trying to place Apple, trying to place uh, an iPhone between the normal iPhone Pro and the iPhone Pro Max. As if the naming wasn't confusing enough, they're going to add another SKU, which is the iPhone Air, possibly, iPhone Pro Air. It looks like it's quite thin, five millimeters. <laughs> I'm not sure if I need a thinner phone, honestly. I would love those lenses I... to recede back into the phone so it could sit flat. Yeah, I would love to the phone to be a little bit thicker. The phone is Frickin flat, flush. and I get a little bit more 
battery life. Yes, thank you. I don't care about exactly thinness. what I'm I looking just at. Want yeah, battery. more battery and flush. Yes, this, this is all I yeah. want. And, and I've moved to the bigger. I'm fine the with bigger one. Larger bezel. Yeah, as am I. That's totally okay. Yeah, totally okay. Please give me battery life. That makes sense. Or yeah, maybe battery like life. batteries that don't catch fire or have all types of stuff. <laughs> Not that Apple's had. Do this iPhones problem. catch fire? No, yeah, they have. They have. I thought it was just yeah, Samsung. They, they blame chargers and stuff like that. But yeah, the, mm, the batteries okay. have certainly had issues before. And it could be chargers. It could be cables. Yep. Yeah. They, I think what it boils down to is mm. like lithium ion batteries have, uh, it, by mm-hmm. default, if, if that sure. casing is punctured, it becomes a problem. And as we get right. closer and closer to thinner and thinner, it's, it's yeah, it's right. an issue. There's less I, and less but, for listen, it. To... I worked at Samsung yeah. when that happened. And this is a whole, uh-huh. whole kerfuffle. But like... I yeah. think at the time they were blaming their Chinese manufacturing site, and what it turned out to be is that it was the Korean phones that actually had the problem. It, it had more to do mm. with the tolerance on the ones made in Korea oh. than in China. Interesting. I, I believe that's public knowledge, but uh, if, if mm. not, but I, I apologize. <laughs> but it, it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> it was the one with the Exynos chip specifically that, that seemed to have been mm. the issue, which were the, the Korean ARM chips as opposed to the, right. yeah, the other ARM chips. Hmm. What are you going to do? But it, it came down to tolerances, and when the batteries are, oh. are being used, normally they, they swell and contract because of the chemical reaction, right. and they can swell, and the casing can rub up against the inside of the phone, and then right. once that, that shell of the casing has been punctured, right. it's all bits are off, unfortunately. It becomes a, yeah. a runaway chemical reaction, which is not great. That, this is wow. my understanding of the problem. Again, please don't come at me legally. Right. Right. My opinions don't represent my former employers either. Uh, but yeah, that, this is my understanding of the problem, and I don't think they're alone in, in having this issue. A lot mm. of the things that are catching fire, what have you, like cars, it's the same thing. It's just right. it's, right. it's many, Science. many hundreds of this exact same battery. Uh, yep. Unfortunately, and I think the replacement is LifePo4, L-I-F-E-P-O-4, which is mm-hmm. lithium ferrite potassium for from vapes. Like vape batteries, somehow have become the new battery. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. More stable. So there's something like good this. that came out of vaping. <sighs> yeah, right. Like that's that's exactly kind of my take on this. <laughs> 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 Aside from the like the lead inhalation and popcorn lung and yeah. all this other stuff, like cool battery, yeah. bro. <laughs> Which like fair. If this is what we get out of it, yeah. I'm I'm accepting of this. I think battery yeah. tech is honestly one of those next big things. And I'm not just saying this. It's mm-hmm. not like it's not some sort of trend that's gonna boom bust and echo. I I feel like if we're moving more towards storing energy, then the way we store it is more and more important. But I feel like we've been saying that for like thirty years, ten years. Oh. Batteries. Yeah. Batteries are going to be amazing. Yeah, but do you remember NICAD? And it never quite happens. Or nickel metal yeah. hydride? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better. Yeah. Honestly, it's a yeah. lot better. Oh, okay. Be- before we get into recommendations, can I give you an anti-recommendation? Yeah. Did I tell you about my, uh, what do you call it, Prime Day fail? No. Did I mention this? Okay. I, I'm such a brilliant, brilliant man that on Prime Day, I saw that there was an ad for 50% off one of those batteries that you'd use in a solar setup. So if you're gaining too much power, you need to store it somewhere, mm, and, and mm-hmm, then you can mm. use that power oh, yeah, to yeah. power your... F- like a power wall? Kind of like that, but they, it looks like a cooler, mm-hmm. like a, something you put your beer okay, in. Yeah, yeah. Rice. It's, it's that size. I've seen plenty of ads of these things, yeah, yes. Yeah, and I, I think this one's uh, is the Everflow battery. It, it's like mm-hmm. a pretty common... Uh, I think it's called Everflow <laughs> battery. Pretty common manufacturer. I thought I was... Uh-huh. EcoFlow, my apology. EcoFlow battery, specifically the EcoFlow uh, to Pro. Gorgeous battery. It looked fantastic. 50% off. Came to my house for <laughs> $500 and had, I think uh-huh. it was 700 watts output. My brilliant idea was I'm going to plug in one of my lights to this. I can take it out in the field because it's a 600 watt light. It, it consumes 750, but it's 600 watt. I thought I was the smartest person. Got the best deal, say $500 at the end of the day. It came here and I, I looked at the battery and thought, there are no plugs on this battery. Like, there's no, there's no input. There's no output. I'm very confused as to how I use this battery. And I, I, I looked at, like, I flipped it over, looked at it, I was like, it's looking the... at the photo, and I couldn't figure out what I'd done wrong. <laughs> on the side, there was this little it's... aux port, and it was like, oh, plug battery into here. Like, this, this is the battery. I realized I had bought the auxiliary extension yeah. like so, yeah so i had bought the auxiliary which replacement i mean okay. yeah so, presumably inside it's got battery if i drilled into it i could figure out right. some way to get the power out or like i i don't know 
I was so disappointed uh, because the actual battery itself is thirteen hundred dollars, so it's even more. So in order to to, to oh have my, my five hundred dollars savings, I would need to spend thirteen hundred more. In, in Canadian, I'm, I'm sure in the U.S. It's, it's not too bad. Yeah. Fantastic battery. I had to return it, and of course, returning it, it it's not free. You can't return a battery for free. In Canada, uh, you can't just ship batteries either. You can't just say, hey, I'm going to ship a battery to my friend Matt in Toronto. That, that does not fly. Canpo will say, no, you're not shipping batteries across the country because they will catch fire. My saving grace is that this battery attack, in fact, is not the, the standard, uh, what is it? Oh, I've already forgotten uh, what it is. So it's lithium uh, lipo, I think. It's, it's not a lithium polymer mm -hmm. battery. It's a lipo 4, uh -huh. which are stable at rest. So it doesn't have that okay. warning on the side. It just just right. luckily, I didn't even know that it was new battery tech, but this is why I've, I've been looking into it again recently. It, it's new battery tech, can be shipped. Still cost me forty dollars to ship it back, so I'm so I'm out money at this point okay. in time. <laughs> okay. Uh, shipped it back, and I'm I'm just sitting here waiting. I, I'll probably end up buying the the whole retail device, but yeah, it it looks amazing. It can power wow. a fridge for like an hour. <laughs> like I don't even need that, but like, hey, that's I mean, it's pretty. Wow. What, what if we lose power? It'd be good to be able to have backup power for my yeah. fridge. You can plug the a washing machine into it. You really need to wash your clothing. It looks <laughs> phenomenal. I think in my brain I was thinking I can use this type of thing for uh, like camping, which I really do, or, or like glamping or whatever, right. or or put it in the back of the car for emergency, or keep it in the house right. in case we lose power, kind of thing. So I still feel like those right. use cases are there. I just didn't realize that like new battery tech is very expensive. And then mm. looking into this, I, I came across solid state as well. I'm not sure if you've heard mm -hmm. of solid state batteries. They're out there. They cost about the same amount of money. Two thousand okay. dollars for sure. Uh, more output and, and less weight. But we are at the point now. We're at we're like a, a tipping point for batteries. So Life Pro Four is becoming mm -hmm. new, like the the next big thing. And solid state seems to be working at right. scale. So perhaps the cars will start using them. But this is the goal is mm -hmm. to have a safe battery at rest that doesn't just catch fire randomly. I, I thought I saw something about something using sand. Sand. Sand for sand. batteries. Now there's water. I feel like I saw this there's article. There's water batteries. About these these are like recently. the oldest batteries ever. Oh yeah. yeah. A sand battery is a yeah. high. Wow. Yeah. High temperature thermal <laughs> energy storage. So it's like a heat sink. Oh okay. It's a heat sink. So you put you heat put sink, heat yeah. into it and then get it out later. Yeah. The silicon. Yeah. I, I mean, listen. Yeah. If we've made if we've made sand think, why not make it store energy too? Yeah. I mean, I know this because I know about sand storing energy because when we rafted through the Grand Canyon on the Colorado mm -hmm. River, you would get off at like six o'clock or five o'clock uh, off the river, okay. maybe a little bit earlier. And the sun was still there and you walk on that sand, it was burning <laughs> hot. And, from the noon um, heat, yeah. <laughs> from the noon yeah. heat. And then you, even at 10 p.m., the sun has gone down long before the, the sand is still hot. That is amazing. That was that was uh, the I think I I may have mentioned the um, during the daytime the ground is covered with carpenter ants. Oh, okay. Which are awful. Yeah. And but thankfully they go down when the sun goes down. Interesting. Which is nice. So you're given a little bit of break, but that's when the scorpions come out. <laughs> so you go from small bites to big so, bites or stings, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, big stings. Yeah, and some of the and then if you we didn't have tents because it was just so damn hot and. Uh, at, uh, I, I, I um, changed, um, but then I needed to put uh, my underwear back on the next morning. And so you have to like shake it Make out. Sure the scorpion and when you babies shake it there. out, scorpions oh, come out. Not cool. I'd have everything in the black bags. <laughs> oh my God. It was, uh, yeah, I think that was the one day I didn't do that. So it's, uh, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. So I, I do actually have a recommendation. Hopefully you do too. Oh, but yeah? I'll, okay. I'll give you time for it. So um, this is a movie that is very difficult to watch. But I would highly recommend watching because you've never seen anything like this ever. It, guaranteed. It's from 1975. It's in color. It's called The Holy Mountain. And holy moly, did it blow my mind in a way that I've got to just, like, I had to pause it. I, I think I only got five minutes in. There was just too much going on uh, that it was, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot. It's visually arresting. It starts with two uh, people shaving their heads in front of this person wearing 
uh, like a big black hat and, and black robe. And it's just, it just gets more wild from there. It is a feast for the eyes if you're trying to get um, unblocked creatively in a visual way. I, I think it, it will definitely do that. There are a lot of, um, yeah, just a lot of imagery that will surprise you. It is wow. highly recommended. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's very, like, it's renowned. Uh, I don't know what it has on Rotten Tomatoes. I think it's 85%. 7.7 7 on IMDb. It is, and this is like from 1975. So these ratings are, are real ratings. Wow. <laughs> and it is totally worth watching. You have to figure out the story on your own in terms of what it means. Um, but it is amazing. So it's a, a film by uh, Jodorowsky, who, who's like a fairly uh, renowned Mexican filmmaker. And, and it is stunning. Hmm. Completely stunning. Highly recommended. Stunning. Stunning. Uh, it's on Apple TV. You can watch it for, I, I think it's 12 bucks, or you could probably uh, huh. watch it on, I thought. There's another place to watch it. Well, maybe not. Okay, you can watch it on uh, on YouTube as well. Prime? On YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Hi highly recommend it. <laughs> it huh. is wild. Uh, wild. I've never seen anything weird. like this in my, in my life. Yeah. It's weird, right? Even just screenshots are weird. I, look, I mean, just the screenshots are, are weird. Weird. Very, very, the chat's gone silent. Uh, what about yourself? Nothing as weird as that. Did you um, try 4 0? I, I meant to ask you. Uh, I just a little okay. bit. I mean, I, I, um, not enough to be wowed yet. Fair enough. I, I, have you been? I kicked the wild? No, not, not well yet. Yeah. I, I think that the first thing that I did, like, yeah. like I told you, was taking photos on the wall and, and stuff like that, but like, mm -hmm. yeah, I haven't really gone too far into it, but I do need to try it some more. I'd love to take it for a walk yeah. and, and do the whole her experience and see what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. No. No. What. What recommendations do I have? I don't really have. I've been watching more of the Olympics. Fuck Olympics. Aren't the Olympics over? Uh, the Olympics. I'm, I'm positive the Olympics are over. I think. I think they ended a couple of days okay. ago. But I mean, we have Peacock, the streaming oh, so service, and so up, we're still streaming so you can them. Pull up the other stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. That's cool. I think I still can. I haven't tried in the last two days. Did you watch the breakdancing, uh, the Australian? <laughs> I didn't watch much, but I certainly I've seen, saw that. I've seen many clips of it. It is. Apparently, this is a teacher, uh, like an actual PhD teacher in Australia. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. And she was serious. I mean, she did, it wasn't did it for did, a joke. Did not look serious. This was, this was, this was legit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love the energy. Uh, it was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, she was being creative. But yeah, that was bizarre. Yeah, the the bunny dance. There are a lot of new moves that I haven't seen, uh, honestly, in terms of breakdancing. <laughs> or anyone has seen. Yeah, no one has very, seen. Very, very creative. Yeah. No, but uh, some of the other, I mean, so there there were all sorts of things I had never seen in, like, Olympics mm -hmm. or mostly because, you know, before you watch, there's, you have one feed because right. that's what's on the broadcast channel right. and they only show you know the the main gymnastics running. and the running main uh, running which, which is and, yeah. awesome for, and, for running and that's it's just all like you all see. day long <laughs> running but with the streaming service you can choose anything and so like the um uh there's there was a, a kayaking one oh. where they they kind of drop you from they drop the kayakers from like a second floor like ramp and then they fall down into the water, and then it's four of them, and they're like battling it what? out, trying to get battle to the kayak? end. It's amazing, and they have to go Aerial down kayak. this, <laughs> down this kind of fake river that was created for the event in in Paris. And they're they, and then they at different points they have to go around oh, these you, little you mentioned uh, this last week. posts now, and. Uh, but uh, we didn't see the the four the four yeah. people competing. The, the one I had seen before was just one person Solo. going down. Yeah. But this was four, and they were like going over each other, and it was no like, oh, it's your turn. You you go ahead. They're like ah. now you're a Nintendo it's generation, amazing. right? Did you grow up with like uh, Konami Olympics that kind of stuff? I definitely had um, summer games yeah. on the yeah, that's uh, on the Commodore sixty four. Okay. I think yeah, exactly. So or maybe uh, Atari. imagine four player kayak wars. Yeah. It's awesome. amazing. Yeah. The, the other thing that yeah. I heard about is, I mean, if everybody had the Apple Vision oh. and they're doing that, and they're, they've got like, <laughs> oh my god, that'd don't, be amazing. Don't tell the audience our killer app. That this is great. Uh, I, I'll I'll buy the developer uh, kit right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Now, the, the other one that I, you, you said fake river, which is a little bit triggering for me because I, I saw reports of people swimming in the Seine and, and like... Oh, yeah. Up and, stuff, <laughs> and they said they e. cleaned it, but yeah, how, how does one clean a river? No. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Hey, we're talking thousands um, of years of filth in, in that thing. Yeah. It's just yeah. awful. Yeah. But yeah. this this thing was was amazing. That that that, that sounds really event, cool. Um, there's also the the artistic swimming. What? The, like there's one like, with two like people ballet? and then one oh, with like seven eight people. It's synchronized, synchronized swimming. swimming. Yeah yeah yeah. It, oh my god! It was yeah. so cool watching these when people. When they're upside and some down the, with their legs in the air, like how how do you even? I yeah, can't do that. I can swim pretty well. I mean, and and there are some parts where there's like one of them above water and the rest of them are underwater holding their breath. Doing really hard things while they like move this person around so they can jump off. I was, it, yeah, yeah. Like artistic uh, water polo. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Very, very there cool. were all sorts of Did other. You watch any skateboarding? Um, I think that's is that new. Yeah, newer? a little bit of that. Okay. We watched the like the the twelve year olds competing. So 12, 13 year olds. Well, I think there were thirteen, fourteen year olds. Wow. I, I mean, you, it, the women. It takes four years to prepare for the Olympics. <laughs> that's that's like pretty young. You're starting at ten. Yeah. Wow. That was yeah. a rough childhood. There were there was definitely fourteen. I thought wow. thirteen, but maybe it was just fourteen. Wow. And in the there was another event where one of the I think in one of the I feel like in one of the swimming events there was like a a seventeen year old and that was her second Olympics. What? And and then there was the American version of uh, Phelps, right? Who took a, a bunch of awards in swimming. Yeah, you're a swimming fan, right? I, I there, think. And yeah. the and the French the the French guy like was like five human lengths ahead of everyone else. Wow. And th and this is and these are events where everyone is coming yes, in within one one hundredth yeah, of a second. Yeah. Yeah. That is cool. And this guy was five lengths ahead. Wow. <sighs> that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I feel like the, the um, tech doping stuff, which I kinda talked about last week as well, hmm. is, is really interesting yeah. to me. Like that those tech advancements. Yeah. And maybe that's what I like about F one and, and some of the yachting or, or right. sailboating, that kind of stuff. It's like where the right. tech kind of meets, like the emerging tech. Right. Yeah. Very yeah. interesting. So I wonder what underwater gave these people advantages. Because we were talking about goggles right. and yeah. suits and all that stuff. Where, right. Where they have little micro flippers on their toenails that we didn't know about. Like, what's, what's going on? Right. Gills? Yeah. Have we figured out gills yet? No. Yeah. And there's um, one of the events, like the 50 meter like dash in the water. I think it's a, whichever stroke is like fastest. Mm -hmm. And apparently... Some of them, they're going full out across this, you know, 50 yards of a of a pool, and they aren't breathing. They're, like, going so fast. They're, they're holding their the breath the whole time. time so they don't have to breathe, so they don't have to waste My time. My muscles are hurting already. Head up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can do, like, three strokes without breathing, but that's about it. Oh my God. <laughs> like, seriously, like, hard yeah. limit. <laughs> yeah. And there was a um, the, the discus uh, throw. There was a, a, a guy that... Um, his dad got the world record or Olympic record like 20 years before and had been held until his son throws and uh, and beats the world record. That's really cool. Um, like that's, that's, and, a, and then that's an the, old school Olympic sport, right? The disc throw, I yeah, think. Yeah. 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 The, and, and they have this really weird thing that they do to throw it. They have the kind of like spin around right. and chuck it. And uh, and the guy right after him was from uh, Jamaica or, or somewhere Another place. Uh, a different I don't place. know where it was from, but different place. And he, uh, for all the other throws, he was like at 60 meters, but then his final throw was 10 meters further wow. than he'd ever thrown. Wow. And that got the new, that got the gold. That is crazy. That's so cool. Is uh, Yeah. There were so many, just like amazing things. Amazing feats. And at first I was thinking 14 bucks on for a month of <laughs> Peacock. What? We're never gonna watch that much. Yet another streaming service. The Olympics, and like, <laughs> I can't get enough of it. Catching up on Sesame Street, I think is a PBS show, right? No, Peacock oh, it's is NBC. Uh, NBC. My, my apologies. Yeah. So. Fair enough. I don't know what's on NBC. I don't know. There's a. I mean, there's a whole bunch of their TV shows. I, I don't watch any of that stuff. NYPD Blue. No, Grey's Anatomy. Is that great? No, that, I think that was ABC. I NYPD Blue. I think is NBC. Which oh yeah. Is not, not a bad show. <laughs> <laughs> Hill Street Blues? I don't Ooh, know. I have not seen that before. I, I probably should. I've heard it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, you guys, last time we were talking about Cheers. Yes. Yeah, wasn't Cheers an NBC show? And Taxi. Yeah, I, I'm still watching Cheers. 
unfortunately. Yeah. It, it, okay, it good. Definitely, yeah. Now, listen, I gave a recommendation. It certainly has some cringe episodes in the second season. <laughs> <laughs> Fair warning. That, like, didn't age very yeah. well. It's, I mean, Smoking yeah. and Bars didn't age very well either, but yeah. yeah. It, it, there, yeah. there are some parts that didn't age very well. And, and then it becomes, yeah. like, a, a little bit of a, like a love story kind of thing between the right. Diane and, yeah, it's not that funny. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Still watching it. Yeah, and and that smoking. I mean, smoking in bars was such a. I mean, it was it was obvious that was always going to be. If you go to a bar, you're always going to have smoke on your jacket right. or your clothes right. for the next few days. That was there was no way that would ever disappear. Right. Not that I ever smoked, but it was yeah. just accept it's that's like an accepted just norm. what happened. Yeah. And then for that to, I mean, that pretty much disappeared quickly. It was amazing how, how that. That changed. When I just, just before we part, because I think we get a couple minutes left. We, we started late. Mm. When I lived in Japan, it surprised me that people mm. still smoked in theaters. Yeah, this is like 1998, oh, really? 1999. So I went to see Titanic, yeah. a small movie called Titanic. I, had, mm -hmm. I think I had to pee the entire mm -hmm. time. It was the worst movie to watch if you have to pee. <laughs> and, and it's difficult to watch a movie when there's like smoke trails <sighs> going up between the projector yeah. and the screen. Like yeah. it, it actually makes it a little bit less clear. It's just yeah. so weird. And it stank so bad. <sighs> It was disgusting. <laughs> Even if they weren't still smoking, the like the second hand, like from people beside me and in yeah. front of me and behind me, like you could, it, it just smelled yeah. everywhere. It's very, very weird. Yeah, I remember going to a meeting at um, one of the major tobacco companies and just seeing like the yellow on the oh. tiles and uh, every like ten feet in all the hallways there were ashtrays. Wow. And yeah. Interesting. It was a weird place. It's definitely weird. And I, I feel like there's stuff that we do now that we think is normal yeah. that 20 years from now we'll think, what? You used a plastic toothbrush? What? <laughs> or whatever oh. it is. <laughs> that, the, yeah. the thing yeah. we do every day that we think is clean and fantastic. Yeah. Like, you, you put yeah. milk in plastic bags? This is a Canadian joke. <laughs> well, we had an uh, Yeah, we're, we're a little over, but um, we had an event yesterday. We, uh, we lost power. Oh for a, like the whole mo i think most of the there you, go. you need an eco and film. another one sold yeah well except we have a um big generac generator oh, outside nice. and so um you know within 20 seconds of the power going out not even that is cool i mean uh, there was like a there were some beeps that we heard and then the generator is starting to go and it's pulling gas out of that the is so cool 500 gallon propane tank wow um so everyone lost yeah. power on the island yeah yeah the whole all of i think m almost all of bainbridge island and uh and then polsbo which is kind of on the main kitsap peninsula or the olympic peninsula kitsap and all the way up to quite a ways i mean that was, and apparently it was just vegetation that knocked down one line huh. and that was like the line oh gotcha for everything no, no or just exposed. yeah yeah now, i will say watching uh kramer which is based in Seattle or Fraser, sorry, Fra Fraser Crane. Crane <laughs> is uh, a little bit foggy there. I was, they they have people who call in, and they call in from different areas mm -hmm. of Seattle. And I think in season one, like episode six or seven or something like that, they actually have a caller call in from Bainbridge Island, which I thought was pretty funny. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. Like George from Bainbridge is online too. It's like that. That that's amazing. Oh yeah, because he's a radio yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of neat. Like oh, I've been there. Yeah, that's really cool. Wow. Yeah. All right, shall we? Uh, shall we call it? Okay. I, I don't think we had any questions. I think this so. Week. Just people saying you're awesome. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. Oh, okay. All right. Let me find the button. Looks like we've only been going 59 minutes and 19 That's seconds. Pretty good. Almost yeah. entirely an hour. Oh.